everybody, it's Steve from Corporate Gone Country. I'm just an ex-corporate guy trying to do country things. And the country thing we're doing today is we're gonna stock our pond with tilapia to control vegetation and algae growth. We have a 0.4 acre pond on our property. It's about five feet deep in the deepest place. There's a fallen tree in the middle of it that we need to remove. And we stock the pond every year with tilapia because last year's tilapia will die over the winter. So let's get started. We're here at Overton Fisheries. It's located between Houston and Dallas on I-45. We've been buying our fish from this supplier for about five years. We put tilapia in the pond every year to help control the vegetation. And the baby fish that they produce provide forage for the other fish in the pond. Here's a look at Overton's operations. They're quite capable and have a variety of fish that they sell. We suggest you check them out if you're in the area. So how big are the adult ones? Six inch plus. Six inch, okay. And they're ready to breed, right? Absolutely, anything three inches and above are breed. Okay, my understanding is they uh, spawn every 28 days. Is that correct? For sure every 60 days. 60 days. 28 days may be a little close. Okay. Nice. Okay, so we're buying 15 pounds today. So here we have two cardboard boxes full of 15 pounds of tilapia. Well, it's only about a 30 minute drive from the fish supplier to our farm. So we're loading up the fish in the back of the Polaris here and we'll carry them on down to the pond. So I have an able assistant here bringing the fish down to the edge of the pond. And here comes some more. So now we're just going to go ahead and get the fish acclimated to the pond. We're going to set these in so they get used to the temperature. And then we'll start pouring a little bit of pond water in the bags. Holy smoke, those things are pretty big and slippery. <clears throat> Come here, darling. I'm just trying to get one of you. Oh. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay. Here's a beautiful boy or girl, and there he goes, or she. Do you have a glove? Gloves in the Polaris you want? Should that help? There we go. There's your Mozambique tilapia. Yeah, get, maybe get that bucket. Right. That should be good for now. <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. Look at those. Uh, let, let me put some more water here in this basket. Oh. 
Okay, so we got a mixture of pond water and water that came from the fish supplier. And we'll just keep them in here for probably about two or three more minutes. And then we'll let them loose. We have 15 pounds of tilapia here. Seven and a half pounds in that bag and seven and a half in this bag. And that's adequate for a 0 0.4 acre pond, which is what our pond is. And the reason that we're putting them in here is they're going to be eating this algae that you see floating on the surface right here. And that'll keep the pond clean. But they're also prolific breeders. And they'll provide some forage for the existing fish that are in the pond. And there's some bass in here, some perch. Uh, there's some, we've caught a crappie out of here. So um, those will be able to feed on the on the fish that hatch out of the tilapia. The tilapia also carry their eggs in their mouth. So they're protect, the eggs are protected from the predator fish. And that helps ensure that uh, they go ahead and have a good hatch and they breed. I was told at the fish uh, supplier that tilapia breed about every 60 days. I really thought it was 28, but they're saying it's more like 60 for these. Uh, but since there's various fish in here, it's not like they all breed on the 60th day. They're breeding every day, one or two of them. So we ought to keep a constant supply of forage fish in here. It's been enough time now. They should have got acclimated and we're gonna let them out. All right, those look like nice, healthy fish. And hopefully they'll go out there and do their job. So thanks for watching today's episode of Corporate Gone Country. We hope you like what you see. And if you do, please like and subscribe. Bye now.